Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Uh, hopefully by the time this video comes out, uh, hopefully I will have a review of some kind uh, put on the channel. Uh, <clears throat> so hope you guys are enjoying that. A um, uh, bit of a slow uh, news week. Um, and in terms of film, I'm not checking out the new Shyamalan thing. I, I, just, I don't care for it. I heard it wasn't too good anyway. Um, so, um, I'll have to go pick up my brother again. But before I go do that, um, I just wanted to do a uh, kind of a quick video on something that I feel like a lot of people have been um, glossing over that... I'm not sure when it came out. It came out last year, I think. Um, I never really got around to talking about it just because there were other videos that I was curious about doing. Um, but I really wanted to talk about this one because this is like very, uh, very interesting to me because I knew about this. I kind of assumed, um, but you know now there's like confirmation. So. <clears throat> uh, so we all know that Hollywood is obsessed in drug abuse. We, we know this. Um, you know, like some of the stuff that's publicized with certain people, um, I think it's pretty apparent that they're, uh, that they're using su certain substances to enhance their looks or to, um, to help them uh, with certain roles, like with losing weight or gaining weight, um, and, you know, I've been, like, I've been curious about that for a while, just because there's, like, certain transformations, we'll say, um, that have happened, and you hear, like, how long it took to get for that person to get to that state, and I've been doing fitness now for a couple months, and, um, I can tell you that some of the stuff, if, if you're not like into fitness or anything like that, and you are kind of buying into what these people are saying, um, two months to lose like 60 pounds, we'll say, is impossible. You can't do that. Um, like it's, po it's possible you'd, you'd be killing yourself more than helping yourself, but, um, but um, one of the more effective ways that Hollywood actually uh, treats this sort of thing is through uh, is through a substance called Oz Ozempix, which is a very crazy weight loss drug that I heard you can lose like 10 or 15 pounds in a matter of weeks. Um, and um, like it makes you wonder like with certain people you know like I, I was referring with the 60 pound weight loss like to Joaquin Phoenix um with what he did in Joker and you know other things it makes you wonder it's like like it's obvious you know it's obvious when someone is op is using certain substances to to enhance their looks like the rock is clearly on the roids he's you know that, that's very apparent um a man a man for his age and just overall just the way he looks it's very exaggerative and it's been publicized that he's been doing like horse steroids so it's like you know so it's he does it i think within his like pre-workout or something so um which a pre-workout is supposed to be like caffeine it's not meant to be a fucking steroid so um so i don't it, I don't know, yeah. I think Hugh Jackman said recently that he wasn't on the roids, which I don't buy for one minute, because um, if you look at him in the first X-Men film, compared to, what was it, like, the Wolverine? Um, it's, like, night and day. Um, like, you know, one of those is, like, okay, that's a natural bod. The other one is, like, questionable at best, you know. It looks good, and... Maybe it is natural, but I have doubts just because, again, for his age, 
for you know all, all, all considering factors it's like I don't know and also like if you hear his quotes like he was like he was like well I was introduced to the side effects and it's like so you at least considered it you know like you're still showing your hand that it's still it still within your reach you know um I mean, more than anything, I mean, just look at any superhero nowadays, like, they're clearly on the roids, at least some, some of them. Uh, some of them are also, I think, fairly naturally built, like, um, what was the one I saw uh, a few days ago? I think it was Chris Evans. I think he has, like, the most natural bod, I think. Um, because everybody else is, like, like, Chris Hemsworth clearly on the roids. Um, like, like, Evans is, like, a more realistic body than what Hemsworth has especially I think it was like I don't know what Thor film it was I think it was the last one um where he's like in chains talking to like Russell Crowe like you see all the veins and just his overall stature it just looks so like you know those like uh what are they called those um those costumes where it's like it's all you're having like the puffy muscles and stuff like stuff like that like those big pup suits that's what he looked like like and and for anybody who does fitness and or just you know in general just knows about natural building it, it just is pretty apparent that you know that it's fake um and that it's not what they actually say it is because remember these guys are also under ndas you know they're not going to disclose that information because they don't want people to because it all affects their ticket sales and you know their people coming to see the film so um but but it's it's a bit of a dirty like it's dirty but it's also expecting because it's hollywood i mean they're scum but um but um but i just find it hilarious that some people still to this very day look at some of these bodies and they're like they're like oh like like that's amazing how did you achieve that or um or my favorite thing it's like that seems like an impossible body and it's like it is it is an impossible body because the human body does not look like that i mean look at terry cruz that fucker is clearly on the roids clearly like if you see pictures of him like his body is literally breaking down like, I think I saw pictures of him, like, in the gym a couple days back, and I think he's over 50, and you see, like, his muscle tones, like, okay, so, not saying that I have muscles or anything, but, like, if you check out mine, my, my bicep right here, he has, like, a muscle, like, a little, like, hill like this, you know, where, you know, it's supposed to be all mass right here, it's just, like, this tiny little muscle popping out right here, and the rest of it is, his skin is literally, like, like, starting to crumble like this, like, because he's getting older, and his body could not, um, could not handle, you know, that, uh, that, uh, cannot handle what's being put in, you know, because eventually at a certain age, your body starts to break down, so, so, yeah, I just find it funny that people will, like, um, that, you know, they will, uh, that they still buy into the whole myth of Hollywood, like, they think that it's all natural and stuff like that, it's like, no, people, like, abuse the hell out of drugs in, in, in the Hollywood system, it's, I think, more apparent in other industries, like the music industry, it's, like, way more notorious for that, but Hollywood is all about that shit, they're all about drug abuse, alcohol, uh, certain things, throw on that democratic, um, plantation, as someone called it online, um, you know, they're very about certain things, um, and, um, it's all fake, you know, it's not like, you know, genuine stuff, you know, so it's like, I've never understood why people buy into it. It's just like, it's super apparent, especially if you're trying to get into to fitness and health. Like anybody will tell you like, 
these certain people are clearly on the roids or certain people clearly took Ozempix. Um, like, you can look it up. I'll, I'll probably link the article um, to this video just so you guys could see it where Variety, I think, talked about it, about Ozempix and how it's like becoming such a in-demand drug for a lot of celebrities. Um, so, um, and you can look up about steroid abuse. I mean, it's, you can look up the rock horse steroids that's there. Um, like, because there's even people still today that think that the rock is like naturally fit. No. He's been juiced up for many years. If you want to see what his future potentially looks like, you can look at Terry Crews' photos, because that dude clearly needs to stop juicing. I have, I have little doubts that he's not juicing. He is definitely juicing. Like I said, if you look at his, his, his bicep, it's literally like this, like a little hill. It's not like the whole thing coming up. It's just like this little bit right here. It's it's just like it, it's a little a little weird, a little 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 strange, you know. Actually, very strange. What am I talking about? Um, for his age, he needs to stay. For age, if you're over fifty, I mean, even in any respect, you know, don't do drugs like in any respect, especially for exercise. Like it's just a cheat, like. Um, like I had a conversation with a friend, uh, recently about, you know, drug abuse and, you know, and he had some interesting points. My whole thing is that it doesn't matter in what respect drugs are either an enhancement or a cheat bottom line. And they, you're not doing the natural steps to get better. You're only in many, you're actually making your life a lot worse with, with drug abuse. Um, I know a lot of people who have fallen victim to drugs and their life is a living hell because of it. Um, and they're having to like, having to go to rehab, re hopefully not relapse again. Um, because, you know, people, some of the people that I've known, they've gotten into like some crazy um, drugs, not like the, the marijuana or whatever. Like we're talking about like, like the strongest things you can think of. So, and deadly stuff too. People OD. Like, it's, it's very scary, you know, when you think about it. And some people like to, a lot of kids nowadays, they like to, like, make drugs out as a certain thing. It's not a fun thing, guys. It's not. And I really preach that to my brother to not do drugs. Like, it's, because I've heard many horror stories about drug abuse and many people who have, who have, uh, I've heard even from my father, like, his, uh, like, about things about his his past with sort of a couple of his friends not in necessarily drugs but in the vein of like abusing certain substances and um um even alcohol it has the same effects you know the same outcomes so um so just don't do drugs especially in the world of fitness do it natural you'll feel so much more prouder when you've done it like, I've been really happy um, with how I've been getting in terms of, like, fitness and stuff. I've been really proud of that coming out of this past year. Just really happy about my fitness routines and just getting in shape, feeling better. Um, not to say that it hasn't had any uh, uh, relapses or whatever, but, you know, it's a work in progress. But it's a work towards the right, the right, the right place, and that's all naturally done. You should be doing the same thing. Do it in a natural way. Do it in the, your own pace. Like, you know, really do that, you know. And stop looking at these people or, as, like, the example. Because the only example that they hold is what not to do. At least if you're asking me. So, so that's my thoughts on that. I was just curious because I don't see anybody talk about it because they're all... Like, when someone brings it up, I always feel like... like you know, it always seems that people get so weirded out by the subject. Um because they're still within the fantasy of what Hollywood, they think that Hollywood is. But no, the reality is that Hollywood is is, is scummy, they're cruel, they're a bunch of liars. Um, and this is just another example of that, so. But I'll link the article in the description below just so you guys can check it out. Um, and it's more mostly about Ozempics, um, but 
but yeah, that's my thoughts on on that. You guys let me know your thoughts. Uh, what people do you think are hitting the roids or maybe uh, taking Ozempics? I don't, I can't personally tell about Ozempics. Like, I can maybe tell based on like a timeline, but, but, I mean, I only point at Joaquin Phoenix because I, I heard it was like two months that he took to like lose all that weight. So it's like, that just seems highly un unrealistic to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was longer than that. I don't know. Um, but, but you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and that's it. That's it for me. I'm going to go get my brother right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.